Hello, I'm Monsignor Gerard O'Connor. I uh, would like to tell you about my devotion to St. Joseph. It came a little later in life when I was in the seminary. One of my spiritual directors was called Joseph, and he had a great devotion to his patron saint. And um, so he would tell us about uh, the virtues of St. Joseph that he thought were priestly. And we were all training to be priests, of course, so um, he said he, St. Joseph should be a model for priests. Why? Well, he was the foster father of our Lord, and when we get to be priests, we become the spiritual foster fathers of a whole parish community. And so he said, look at the virtues of St. Joseph, look at the things that were prominent in his life, and you as the father of the parish um, should take some of those. So let's look at a couple of things he used to say. So first of all, he used to, he was the protector of Jesus and Mary and the provider. He protected them and he provided for them. And that's something as a parish priest we've got to do for our people. Um, he was chaste, you know, we refer to him in the, uh, uh, you know, as your most chaste spouse, Blessed Virgin Mary. Um, <clears throat> and sacrifice, you know, we don't know much about St. Joseph in Scripture. He never said a word in sacred Scripture. Can you imagine the sacrifice that he put up with throughout his life uh, for his loved ones, the Blessed Virgin Mary and our Lord Jesus Christ. And of course, it follows from that, he obviously had a great love for his wife, Mary and for his son our Lord Jesus Christ and so as a priest we must have a great love for our Blessed Mother and our Lord and so these sort of things he would tell us about about Joseph and that's really when I started thinking about Joseph as a role model for the priesthood although we don't often think of him in that way but um, and the other thing is uh, there's an old Latin expression ite ad Joseph which means go to Joseph and uh, Father Joe used to say that all the time, Itad Yosef. He would mean come to me if you need anything, but it'd also say go to Saint Joseph. So I've came across Saint Joseph as a model for priests, really. The, the virtues of Saint Joseph we can bring into our own lives as being the spiritual fathers of our own parish communities.